kind of a few updates for this one. I'm full of regrets believing that my husband cheated on me when he didn't. Cheating is something that I've always had strong opinions about. I've Same. been cheated on before and it sucked. Everyone knows that I don't forgive cheaters. So when my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, staged an elaborate scheme about my husband cheating, I ended the relationship. My relationship, unfortunately, wasn't the only one that was affected. My sister-in-law, Lisa, 32, her best friend, Emma, 32, and my husband, Jamie, 29, were best friends growing up. Emma got married when she was just 20. Her husband was abusive. She had two children with him. She got divorced 10 years later, and she was finally free from his abuse. She suffered a lot, however, and was, probably still is, in therapy, her and her children. I, 30, met Jamie four years ago. We got married two years later. Everything was just awesome. What I didn't know was that Emma wanted Jamie and Lisa made it her mission when Emma finally got divorced to bring her brother and best friend together. I didn't know any of this, so I never knew there was a hidden agenda. When I, a few months into my marriage, overheard Lisa talking about how Jamie was cheating on me with a married colleague of his. In hindsight, I can tell it was staged because she was saying unnecessary details and was very loud. She meant for me to hear it. I confronted her then and there, and she played very flustered and apologized and begged me not to ruin my marriage. She told me Jamie loved me and she never wanted to lose me as a sister. But at the same time, she provided me with pictures and texts. They were all photoshopped of my husband and his colleague. She begged me not to mention where I found out and I was grateful for her support and promised her not to expose her as the source. I confronted my husband with everything and he adamantly refused to admit anything. It hurt me more that he never admitted nor apologized ever. He asked me where I got this from, but I kept my promise and told him it was an anonymous tip. I also went so far that I contacted the colleague's husband. At the time, I thought it was the right thing to do. The colleague is this very beautiful woman that my husband worked very closely with many hours a day. I was a bit jealous of that and I confided my fears with Lisa. She used it against me. I asked for a divorce and the colleague's husband did too. After that, Lisa, who I thought was my friend, who called me her sister, disappeared from my life. Like I never existed. Even when I bumped into her, she was short with me and indifferent. Months went by and I was still heartbroken, processing the separation. My husband stopped trying to make me see reason and agreed to divorce. He said he wanted to move on. I started having doubts. Why is Lisa doing this now? She was my friend and one of the best for me, yet now she didn't even answer my texts. I follow both her and Emma on Instagram and I started seeing how Emma and my husband gradually started hanging out. At least once a week, Emma or Lisa shared stories about my husband with Emma and her children. What I did next is very questionable, and yet I don't regret it at all. I was desperate, and I needed the truth. I was still very good friends with Lisa's on-again, off-again boyfriend, Mike, sister. I told her my doubts and everything. I told her that Lisa was my source, that my husband was cheating, and that I'm starting to doubt everything, and that I needed their help to unearth the truth. Mike was easier to persuade to help me than I expected. He had Lisa's passcode, and he went through her messages with Emma. And there was everything. They have plotted everything. They used my idiocy and insecurity and made me throw the best thing that ever happened to me away. He sent me all the proof I needed, even the original photos they used to Photoshop my husband with his colleague. My world was turned upside down again and I went into a deeper depression. I stayed in bed, called in sick for two weeks. I have not ruined only my life, but also another family. I don't know why I'm writing here, if I want advice or just to vent. I don't blame anyone but my stupidity for ruining my marriage. I should have trusted my husband and the love he's shown me. I should have been honest with him about everything and where I got the news that he was cheating from. I should have not gone to hurt the colleague and her family just because I thought her beautiful. She has since quit her job and moved, but I still had her husband's contact info. I had to at least apologize. We met and I told him everything. He was so angry with me. He was crying and yelling at me. And all I could think was that I deserved every insult he threw my way. I found the colleague on Instagram and DM'd her everything and a long apology. She didn't answer me. I don't know if I should tell my husband too. I know I don't deserve him at all. And I know that he doesn't want me anymore. But maybe he should just know what Emma is doing and what she's capable of doing. He deserves to know the truth. 
Maybe I could start with reassuring him that I'm not trying to win him back. I'm just trying to help him understand and apologize. I need to apologize for everything. I don't know. The sister must really not have a lot going on in her life to so badly want a relationship for her brother. Like that would break up his, to go to these lengths it's really psychotic. to Photoshop. This person's bored, literally has nothing to do. It, like, how do you have this much time to focus on someone and you have this much care? What must be going wrong in your life to have this much care to want to like go and destroy this whole thing? Because well, not just one person's marriage, but two, because the colleague, the, the colleague that was in that pictures, the pictures that they photoshopped, OP went to her husband. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so she, she broke up two marriages. She ruined two people's lives uh, by doing this, which makes me wonder like, what does this friend have on you? Why are you so obsessed with your friend and the idea of your friend and your brother getting together? What if they get divorced? Like, what if they didn't work out? That becomes messy for your brother and your friend in your life. It's just very strange. This it's is like so beyond, crazy. this is, you know how sometimes not sympathize, not even empathize, but to like try to get your head in a place where you can think like this. This is just beyond me. I don't even know. Like I, I don't know. I think it's, if you really have that much time and that much care about something, this, this is, you got some problems. She needs a hobby. Okay. Update. Okay. I'm full of regrets believing that my husband cheated on me when he didn't. Hi, have now an update. Thank you for being so supportive. I honestly didn't expect that given how long and boring my story was. It was not long and boring at all. It was long. It was long, but not boring. <laughs> I remember being so desperate and wanting to tell everything from the beginning and put it out there. Maybe to try and make excuses for myself and for what I did. I appreciate you wanted to help. I decided not to meet up with Jamie. Every time I tried to text him and ask for a meeting, I panic. That wasn't a good sign at all. I wanted him to know everything in details and I tend to be all over the place when I'm panicking. So I decided to email him instead. I made a lot of drafts, cross-checked all the information and waited a whole day before sending, adding some details here and there that I've forgotten to include. I sent him all the manipulated pictures and the original. Every screenshot Mike sent me from Lisa and Emma's conversations. I made it clear, however, that I wasn't trying to manipulate him to have me back because I knew what I did was unforgivable, but that I wanted to warn him who he's been dealing with. I told him that I've been watching Emma and Lisa's Instagram stories, and I've seen that he was getting cozier with Emma. I wanted him to know all the facts if he was dating her. This took all my energy to write this. Just the thought of him dating Emma, I mean, I can't. I texted him that I've sent him an important email. He didn't answer me. On Wednesday, when I came back from work, Lisa, Emma, and Emma's two children were waiting for me outside of my building. When I let them in, stupid, stupid me, Lisa started yelling and threatening me. She told me to call and tell Jamie and Mike that I've made all of this up because I'm a pathetic loser. She told me I didn't want her as an enemy because she would make my life sour. Believe me, you don't want to make destroying your already miserable life my mission. Emma just smiled the whole time. She later said that my husband already had a crush on her and that he wouldn't believe my nonsense because he could finally be with her. The thing is, it felt like Lisa was more angry that Mike knew what she did rather than her brother. And she was really annoyed about Emma and told her to shut up the whole time. I couldn't get them out of my apartment. So I just left and called Jamie. I told him that they were at my place and that I couldn't get them out. 15 minutes later, I saw them leave. Jamie texted then that he wanted to come over if I was all right with it. Yes. Um, really quick. Yeah. So Emma was in on it. Emma was in on it the whole time. Emma was a part of it from the start. Emma was probably, Emma was probably egging her friend on, which is the brother's sister. So she was in on it. Absolutely. Emma oh, wants the husband. I thought you were saying that the sister was the only one kind of doing this whole thing the whole time. No. And that's why I got really confused because I'm like, well, you broke up the... Sorry. <laughs> you broke up the Emma marriage too, but she was She willing. was divorced. She was divorced from an abusive husband. Right. Okay. Sorry, friends. Get it together, Justin. Well, come on. Come on. Get it together. I'm supposed to be sleeping right now, technically. Je but jet lag is no excuse. <laughs> Okay, got it. So then that's why Emma's being kind of all weird and pushy. But oh my God, can you imagine having someone like Lisa in your life? 
Imagine having someone like Emma. Emma was probably like, get me with your brother. I love your brother. But then Lisa's that fucking crazy to say, yo, you don't want me destroying your life. Yeah. Well, and the fact that Lisa is and now going it. like, you need to tell Mike that you were lying. Right. Like tell Mike that this, you made all this up and you're a pathetic loser. It's like, she's only trying to do damage control with Mike because that's her relationship yeah. on the line. True. But I also like, I don't like how OP is like, I know I don't deserve him. I, I, I did an unthinkable thing. And I honestly, I don't agree with that. I think what she, she did. Do? She just believed the evidence she had in front of her. Oh. Which if when you did have, it all come together for her? When Lisa started ignoring her. So after she broke up her marriage, Lisa just dropped her like a hot potato. And uh, so at that point, it's like, well, if Lisa was doing this for me, why isn't Lisa still my friend? Well, because Lisa doesn't give a fuck about you. Damn. Lisa just wants her brother okay, together so what with happens her bestie. Because uh, Jamie's the husband, yeah? Yes. So what happens when they get together? Okay, so he told me that he was very hurt that I would doubt him like this and believe rumors. I told him everything again without panicking. I told him that I loved and trusted Lisa. She was like my sister. And I asked him to put himself in my shoes. And if, it ha and if he happened to hear Lisa talk about me being unfaithful, right. would he have had any doubts in his loving sister's intentions? He stayed the night and left the next morning. We've been texting several times a day and talking on the phone and FaceTime every night since. He says that he loves me, but that he doesn't know what to do. He is very hurt by his sister and Emma, of course, but even me. He hasn't talked about canceling the divorce process yet. I will just have to wait, and that's understandable. I've turned his life upside down twice and in such a short period of time. On a happier note, my husband's colleague and her husband are back together. My husband oh. met with them and apologized. I've already told them everything, but my husband felt the need to apologize personally. Mike has ended it with Lisa. Lisa and Emma's relationship is very strained. Both have blocked me from IG, of course, but apparently Lisa is blaming Emma for Mike leaving her. And Emma has tried to throw Lisa under the bus by telling Jamie she was innocent in all of this. Oh, wow. I really hope my husband forgives me and I promise that I will make it up to him and love him forever. There's obviously some problems, but it's hard to blame someone for reacting a certain way in certain situations. Yeah. And so you kind of, it's very tricky because was any real wrongdoing done by OP and her husband? No, I don't they're know. both innocent victims in this. Right. But then like, obviously the thought is how could you believe that and whatever, and then put yourself in my shoes. It all makes sense. It does because- I would believe it if someone sent me photo, like good photoshopped pictures and I had no idea they were photoshopped of you making out with someone. I would 1000% believe it. You she believe be what's in front Photoshop. of you or you just pay someone on Fiverr. That's true. I mean, I've paid someone on Fiverr, literally five or $10 to Photoshop a girl out of my picture. I think the only time I've ever done that in the past is, um, you say, oh, well, I sent you the message on this day. <laughs> yeah. Like, I sent you a text. I sent you a reminder on this day. It's very manipulative because then you can Photoshop crazy. the date and whatever. You can Photoshop everything. You change the name in your phone and you make it look like their text from the husband and colleague. Yeah. You can literally Photoshop anything nowadays. It's Well, it's and especially terrifying. with AI too. Have you seen the things on TikTok AI where it's like, is paint crazy. this and this and this and this? I... It's not long, especially with stuff in music, it's not long until voice recreation is like mastered. I mean, they already can do it. They're already doing that. They already can take snippets, like a whole collection of someone's voice and then make new sentences with it. Well, so what they're doing with music is this one singer recorded a bunch of stuff and now you can almost use it like an auto-tune filter so you can sing in her voice they're R doing crazy stuff already so where does that end because what if you could uh manipulate really recreate someone's voice image video and you could literally say oh they posted this video on tiktok and it's like it's not even them well that's why deep fakes are so scary because that's essentially a deep fake that's why like you can have people like famous celebrities and you implant their face on another girl's during a porn video. And it's literally like, oh my God, it's Amelia Clark porn. And it's not Amelia Clark. It's a deep fake. It's, it's absolutely terrifying. 
it is scary because that Terrifying. stuff's only going to get more like better. Yeah. But yeah, I this situation is very tricky because I I don't know if you carry a mistrust going forward. No, I would 100% Because the blame then is misplaced. But as the husband, imagine your sister doing this. And you know, I'm an only child, so I'll get myself as close to that as I can. Think like in my mind to have someone related to you manipulate that and basically break up your marriage. Which I mean, you, it would be like my brother coming to you with f- pictures of me cheating. True. And your biggest fear is literally cheating. Well, so you like, would believe it wholeheartedly. Well, and he would be so convinced in his lie that it would seem supernatural. Exactly. Because he's acting like upset. Well, especially if he had an attention behind it. Like, uh, I want to hook sure. my sister up with my best friend. You're going to sell that so hard. I do not blame Opie oh, yeah. for Who believing fall this. For that? Who wouldn't? Who would not fall for this, especially with so much evidence pre- presented? Yeah, this is fucked. This, this is, is <laughs> insanity. This. Oh. And what's scary is like anyone could do this and you could really go and fuck anyone's shit up. I know. Do you remember when there was that um, that app where you could send texts from other people's numbers? Yeah, it was like a ghost ghost text or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, someone in the chat number. Know. Yeah, ghost number. In the comments, like... Um, That's so crazy, too. I Ugh. remember that app, and I remember having... There was a, a couple at our high school that broke up because someone sent, like, fucked up shit from the other person's number. Wow. So this is just like that. Yeah. But on a whole different level. So the top comment on the update is he doesn't believe Emma, right? That she was innocent and only Lisa was involved. Also, were they dating or just hanging out? And OP responded, no, he doesn't believe Emma. I sent him screenshots of hundreds of texts between Lisa and Emma. Also, he didn't like her hitting on him when he believed she was my friend too. I asked him about the crush and he said it was when he was 15 or 16, not now. So... Well, what an I, asshole. is that the last update? As of right now, it looks like OP might have even deleted the account because the comments from OP are showing up as deleted. Oh, okay. And so another comment goes, so are these people going to just get away with attempting to ruin your life? Right. And OP goes, I really don't know. Since I found out everything, I've only thought of my husband and his colleague and their forgiveness. Not sure what legal action I could take against Lisa. The hard thing with Lisa, though, is... I wonder if you could. Yeah, but at the same time, a person goes to that length to try and do something like this. If they have a vengeance like against you forever, that's fucked. That's almost like... She's going to because she ruined... OP ruined Lisa's relationship with Mike. She's 100% going to. People that are capable of this devious, chaotic, psychotic, schemery shenanigans they're unhinged she's for sure gonna retaliate for sure it just honestly would make you want to move it just makes you want to i don't even know what you would do you have like this virus attached to you now it essentially but what do you do like that's your husband that's your person like oh. you're not gonna leave it all behind just imagine because family sister's gatherings a bitch. like she's just in the corner you think Dude. she's plotting something at every moment? Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to eat at family gatherings around her. I'd be f- like fearful that she would poison me. I would have to bring my own Tupperware food. Wow. So someone else wow. goes, marriage counseling might be a good idea if you both want this to work. And OP goes, I have suggested this. He just smiled at me because it was something that he suggested before our breakup and I refused. Because at that time, I thought nothing can fix infidelity. Yeah. I mean, it reminds me of that movie again. Where what one? It, where you just can't believe anyone. You don't know what's true and what's not. What's reality. Yeah. And what's been fabricated. It's just a nightmare. That's a literal nightmare when you start to question what... Like then, the hard thing about that is when you have someone that manipulative, you don't know what to trust at all anymore. No. Because then anything that goes on in your life, then what if some real infidelity happens? Or what if... Yeah, going it, it forward, could, it you honestly, would never believe. It honestly could be anything and you start to lose trust for any human. Yeah. Because then you're like, the only thing I know is that 
I trust myself and my thoughts and that's it. But when everyone around you, you start to question what their motives are, I don't know what could be worse. To not trust a single person. Your whole like radar and judgment would feel wrong. Yeah. Like your whole sense of perception almost of other people and like your faith in other people, everything, everything would be really, really challenging. What is the movie called though? I don't know why I'm blanking. Um, there is a movie with Beyonce in it. That's actually really, really good. And it's called obsessed. Uh, I mean the one we, um, the one that messed me up all mentally. <laughs> Are you talking about the, um, Austin land movie? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Justin. Austin land is not even that bad. You poor thing. Is, that's not like this. I mean, in a sense. Yeah. Things were a little off in that. Oh, I thought it was just like this, but I'll say it again. This story could be a movie. It could be a movie. Maybe we make it one. Because you're watching this movie and you could play out all these, you know, you could play out every part of the deception. Yeah. And viewers would just start getting like, oh my God, no, what's happening? Yeah. I know. And then you could, I guess the this worst part. This reminds me of the, there's a movie with Beyonce and it's called Obsessed. And Beyonce is married to this like great guy. And he's got a secretary that comes in and starts working in his office. Mm -hmm. And the secretary makes it look like they're having an affair because she's obsessed with the husband. Oh. And her and Beyonce have this showdown at the end and like kick the shit out of each other. Great movie. Great movie. See, and the worst part about this one is you could the end of the script could be kind of where the last update ended. Yeah. And you cut and it goes to credits and there's no resolution. <laughs> Everyone's just like, what the fuck? I know. Dude. <laughs> It would be good. And then you have a part two.